Beyond Emissions podcast by Solagent, the largest pure play solar distributor in the Americas. Thanks for joining us again every single week here at the Solagent YouTube channel. Like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when our next episode is out. And by the way, we have over what over almost 29, 30 episodes already lined up. So you can go to our Solagent YouTube channel anytime and listen to some of our great past episodes, experts from around the world on our team, customers, vendors, manufacturers, engineers. We have them all on this program. So you get a diverse education as do I. I mean, every single week I'm learning uh, here at the Beyond Emissions by Solagent podcast as we discuss all things renewable energy, uh, energy storage, PV, uh, wind, uh, alternative energy, uh, renewable energy uh, in all facets we discuss here at the Beyond Emissions podcast because that's what we're doing at Solagent and you're doing it with us folks if you're just joining us today and you're not a Solagent dealer please click on the link below and become a Solagent dealer today. Have access to our programs, uh, our options in energy storage, PV array, electrical balance of systems. But in addition, uh, you can hear my dog back barking in the background. She's excited about us talking about renewable energy. I'm excited as well. Um, our guest on the program today, Ramsey Zimmerman, is my colleague here at Solagent. Ramsey is our uh, solar engine program manager dealing with the financing side of the solar renewable energy business. I know that we get out there and we're working hard telling people, hey, here's what you need to do. You need this size PV array and this size energy storage system. By the way, you want to be a part of our energy storage solutions and have a chance to offer them, especially under NEM3 in California. Email storage at solagent.net today. That's storage at solagent.net today. But we have on our team, you know, Ramsey Zimmerman working every day, experts from around the world that we're partnered with to make sure that we offer you the best financing opportunities, especially in this tumultuous market that we're in right now with the higher rates, et cetera. We're going to go into that today with Ramsey, uh, program manager of Solar Engine here at Solagent. In addition, we're going to talk about doing good when you buy solar uh, and you do direct pay. It's much more efficient and easier to use. But in addition, doing good by providing clean drinking water uh, for those who are less fortunate around the world. Every time you use these programs, we're going to talk about that today with our guest, Ramsey Zimmerman, on the show. Before we get to Ramsey, I, I want to ask you this question. We do this every single week on the show. What does beyond emissions mean for you? Exactly. I mean, you're in this business. It's not just a business to make ends meet and make a profit. We're here to do that as well. I mean, we definitely all want to have economic success, but we want to do that with a conscience. We want to do that from the vantage point of, you know, we're doing something good. We're creating a better world for our kids and grandkids. So what does beyond emissions mean for you? Type it down in the comment section below so that you can be a part of this ongoing conversation about creating an emissions-free future, a world that is beyond emissions. Thanks for joining us here at the Beyond Emissions Podcast by Solagen. I'm Josh Brum, Energy Storage Manager here at Solagen and also host of the Beyond Emissions Podcast. Welcome to the program and welcome to my first guest today, Ramsey Zimmerman, Program Manager for Solar Engine here at Solagen. Welcome to the show, Ramsey. Thank you so much, Josh. It's, uh, it's really great to be here. Uh, this sounds like a lot of fun. Appreciate you uh, inviting me to come on today. Hey, my pleasure. I love working with you. Um, every week we get together on a call and I get to talk with Ramsey about what's going on, what are the ins and outs of the financial markets and how that's affecting the interest rates are going up. It's been a tumultuous market um, for folks who are getting loans uh, for their customers for solar uh, and energy storage. Uh, you, you've had your hands full, haven't you, Ramsey? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, solar is a great investment. And uh, when we talk about 
what does it mean to get beyond emissions? Uh, having solar energy and combining that with battery storage, uh, it's really probably one of the most significant things, if not the most significant thing that a homeowner can do, um, investing in solar energy in their home uh, in terms of reducing their environmental footprint and uh, reducing their carbon emissions. And one of the primary ways that people can pay for that is by using financing. So, you know, the, the kind of the holy grail there is to get a loan where the loan payments that you have are at or below the amount that you were previously paying for energy. And in situations like that, uh, homeowners can actually make that a positive cash flow investment from the very start. And that's really the goal. Uh, that was getting to be pretty uh, straightforward and easy and, and almost standard up until about a year ago. Uh, as I think we all know, the interest rates just really started climbing abruptly kind of in the middle of last year. And so now that's a, a bit more of a challenging proposition to get to that uh, you know, straight from the get-go, but there's still uh, still opportunities out there, and that's still what we're working towards. And really, you know, getting to that level of payback, immediate payback, that's really important. But at the same time, I think uh, many, many homeowners and solar buyers, they really get behind the idea that it's really all about being self-sufficient and it's about uh, getting a situation where the electricity that they're using in their homes are are generated right there on site. It's being generated by the sun, you know, this, this great abundant resource that, that everyone has. And that really means a lot. It means a lot to homeowners. It means a lot to our customers, the contractors. It means a lot to us. You know, I think that that's why many of us are in this business is because we're part of something greater. We're, we're doing something good. I know that's why I'm in this business. And right now, uh, you know, putting solar on people's homes and helping them to source the equipment, that's just one way that we can contribute to these greater solutions that uh, everyone here in the world needs. Yes, and rates from the utilities are just going to keep going up and up and up so even if our customers lock in right now at a higher rate than it was a year ago um, nevertheless they're still going to be able to offset those higher rates that are coming down the road by consuming the energy they're producing local at their home on site versus renting that power. I mean, it's kind of the same argument of home ownership versus renting. Um, rents are on the rise. But when you go rent a place, um, you know, you're still paying for that high interest rate. You're just doing it through your rent or whatever their rent price is is up to. But you're throwing that money away every single month. You're paying for someone else's investment same thing if you're a customer of the utility and you're relying on them for all of your electricity the volatility of the markets and with inflation you know forget the interest rates on your solar and energy storage system those utility rates are just going to go up and up and up and you're paying that money to the utility every month for what you use and that's it. It goes to them, it's out the door, and they charge you again the next month. Whereas just like home ownership versus renting a house, you're able to put that money into your own investment, your own equity, if you will, that belongs to you. So even at a higher rate, it can still make more sense, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ramsey. It can make more sense to own that and to pay that to yourself instead of the utility, even at the higher rates, knowing that the utilities are going to continue to jack up their rates uh, per kilowatt hour over the next decade in the coming years. What are your thoughts on that? 100%. You know, so owning your own uh, 
power generation uh, capabilities, that just that makes you an owner. Like you said, you're not uh, paying someone else to produce that power. It's a hedge against future uh, electricity rates going up. Uh, you know, certainly electricity rates are going to continue to increase into the future. And it is, I absolutely agree, it's better to, you know, have your own system. And um, I think, too, when people are generating their own electricity, they're also more aware of their electricity usage. And that's often combined with energy efficiency, using less um, electricity in general. I mean, uh, when you have panels on the roof and a battery and, you know, you're creating your own electricity, you're storing it on, you're going to think about whether or not you turn the lights on or off. You're going to be wanting to turn those lights on to uh, save your own electricity. You know, you, you're the one who uh, went out and got that. Uh, so I, I'm sure that that's part of it too. And uh, even though interest rates are higher, there's a lot of uh, great reasons to, uh, to still jump into this uh, adventure that we call solar ownership. Uh, there's the federal tax uh, incentive, 30%. So you can get up to 30% tax credit. You can take that over a couple of years if you can't take it all at once. So that's a big boost. And some of the loan products out there actually take advantage of that interest rate. So some of the loan products out there will allow you to defer the payment on 30% of your uh, project amount and your loan with the expectation that you can pay that amount off within, say, 18 months or so. So uh, that's a big savings. It reduces the monthly costs that you have to pay through your loans. There are other loans out there that have, uh, you know, uh, you can re-amortize, and what that means is that Later on, if you pay down the principal, you can have them recalculate your loan payments based on the new lower principal amount, and that will also reduce your monthly payments. And loans out there, for the most part, do not have any uh, fees for uh, uh, paying them off early. So you can go ahead and keep doing that monthly payment. You can pay more. You can pay down your uh, principal amount, and then uh, pay your loan off early. You can save a, a tremendous amount of money uh, for the interest that you don't need to pay if you pay it off early. Kind of so like there's lots and lots of strategies. Kind of like a, a, a your your home loan, right? Uh, by the way, uh, Ramsey Zimmerman, uh, Solar Engine Program Manager here at Solagent on the Beyond Emissions Podcast. Thanks so much for being here. Kind of like a home loan, right? My wife tells me that all the time. Like, do you know that if we just made double payments or paid, you know, uh, you know, 50% extra uh, every month uh, towards the principal, how much we would save or how much quicker we could pay off um, the overall loan and save on all that interest? Same concept kind of, right? Absolutely. It's exactly the same thing. In fact, even though the uh, typical loan term for a solar loan is often 20 or 25 years, uh, the industry average is more like seven years uh, that these loans are held. So most people do exactly that. They pay it down, they pay it off uh, in about an average of seven years. And when they do that, they save a tremendous amount of money on those uh, foregone interest payments. And we're not at 1970s, you know, levels like 10, 11, 12%. Um, we're, we, uh, we're seeing the interest rates still go up. I see the Fed coming out and, you know, another quarter point or another half a point here or there. So they're still battling that inflation. But at the same time, we're nowhere near the catastrophic levels of interest rates that were available to consumers back in the late seventies, early eighties, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's still, there's still room to move there and uh, that you just don't know about interest rates. You don't know how long this is going to kind of remain. It was a pretty big surprise uh, to 
most of us last year when the interest rates went uh, went up, and you know we we expect them to come back down. We're not really sure, not really sure when. At the same time, uh, you don't have to necessarily finance your entire system. There's a couple different strategies. Uh, certainly, if you have some capital, then uh, putting some money down on the system so that your loan is smaller. You can also uh, select a different loan where you sort of pay some money up front and uh, get a lower interest rate as a result of paying an upfront fee. Uh, and of course, you know, taking full advantage of that tax credit. So even though many people use a loan, it's, it's often not the case that you need to uh, finance the entire project. You could just finance part of it. It's, uh, and putting your money, investing in a solar energy system and a battery system, uh, it's a very consistent, predictable, uh, very low risk investment because the sun's going to keep shining. You know, you don't know what <laughs> is going to happen uh, in the world around us, uh, but the sun's going to keep shining one way or the other. So it's a it's a strong investment, uh, very predictable from that standpoint. Yeah, at least a few billion years or so we've got left yeah. of the sun shining. <laughs> and I, I think that that's going to outlast the investment period that folks are, that's funny. Yeah, you know, it, it's crazy that, you know, we're sitting here talking about, you know, solar loans and, and energy storage loans. And when people look at the news, you know, it kind of gives them some trepidation, a little bit of fear about, you know, well, is this the good time to do that? I don't know about you, Ramsey. I don't know about you listeners, but knowing how much the utilities are going to jack up cost and, and, and cost per kilowatt hour and rates, you know, over the next 10 to 20 years, Ramsey mentioned it a moment ago, it's a great way to hedge your bets. I mean, you're, you're most likely going to still come out way ahead over the life expectancy of your system that you own, that you're investing in yourself, not renting that power and just giving it to the utility. It makes so much sense. And with energy storage, you mentioned the 30% federal tax credit. Folks, you need to know energy storage is a part of that. Even standalone storage, even without PV. You know, energy storage uh, is a part of what's available under that 30% federal tax credit. And I think that that can, that can really, you know, dampen some of the upfront cost for a lot of folks. Real creative ways to, to be able to pay off that 30% over a period of time or defer that and just lots of different strategies. Ramsey Zimmerman. Uh, program manager of our solar engine department here at Solagent, the largest pure play solar distributor in the Americas. Ramsey, let me rewind just for a second, learn a little bit more about you for our audience. Um, you know, because folks, um, a as you're listening to this, write that down, contact Ramsey. And we're going to go into some of the different options that are available here at Solagent. Some of the good that you can do with us in providing clean drinking water. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, but personally, Ramsey, how did you get into the renewable energy business? Or, you know, uh, it takes a real special mind to really wrap their, their head around all the financials and everything. I think that's so amazing. So thankful that you're on our team helping our customers. Um, how did you get into this business? Uh, tell us. Yeah, well, I've been in this business for quite a while. Um, actually, back in the, the mid-90s when I graduated from college, you know, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, um, I actually got involved with uh, green building and recycling and energy efficiency and renewable energy issues in many different ways. I uh, started out working with a number of different nonprofit organizations. I was doing event planning and uh, promotions and education for professionals, uh, builders, contractors, uh, 
holding conferences and things like that. And uh, just re- that was really at the beginning uh, in many ways. Um, Solar uh, was uh, a developed technology, but uh, the commercialization at that point uh, was still uh, hadn't really broken through to the mainstream, I think, in many ways. Um, and over the next 10 years, it was exciting to see just a whole lot of progress uh, I uh, spent some time then going into business and management consulting, uh, working with companies to adopt a green and clean technologies, uh, and then uh, moved over more into the finance world for a while. Was uh, spent a few years with a little credit union here in Washington State and uh, develop some solar energy uh, specialty loan products and worked on the, the process for how we take applications and how we um, are able to uh, award those loans and really was uh, excited to be a part of that. You know, I always, sort of the, uh, the thread that I was always gone through my career and which I hope will always continue to go through my career is working as part of a larger sustainable solution. And really, just if you want to get really big picture for a little bit, uh, I think that the the key to all of this is distributive generation. Distributed generation, uh, I just believe that things are, are better on the local level. You know, the closer that we get to home, uh, the uh, ability to... Uh, grow our own food and create our own electricity and to uh, govern ourselves at the community level and, you know, be a part of our community. And, uh, you know, those are ways in which uh, solutions are really powerful and meaningful at the local level and interacting with the people around us and keeping in touch with people in other states and other nations is really terrific but I just really feel like the best answers come uh, from the local levels and uh, the, the best ability to create solutions uh, start right at home. And doing energy efficiency in your home, doing uh, renewable energy and solar and battery storage in your home and in your business uh, just are really key and clutch to uh, answering the just the really big issues that we are up against in the world. So just really happy to, to be at Solagen, to have uh, been here for just a few months, and uh, really great, really great people, and uh, it's just really terrific uh, working with our customers to understand how they can help their customers get financing and also just to make those arrangements um, for payment through direct pay. So we have partnerships with several major lenders so that uh, the material costs uh, are paid to us directly at the same time that the, uh, the labor and the rest of the project is paid to the installer. So it just makes a ton of sense to me to do it that way and uh, happy, happy to work on it. That's awesome, man. It's it's great to have a passion for what we do um, every single day. Um, coming to work, this isn't just a job. We love what we do. Uh, Ramsey Zimmerman, uh, Solar Engine Program Manager here at Solagen here on the Beyond Emissions Podcast. Thank you for listening, folks. Every single week we learn so much, having experts from all across the renewable energy industry, and we're so blessed to have Ramsey on our team here at Solagent. You talked about um, direct pay. Um, For those of us that are listening for the first time to the Beyond Emissions podcast, maybe some of us need a refresher. What is direct pay with Solagent and how does that work and how does it benefit um, our customers and their customers? Yeah, so uh, in most lending, solar lending situations, the uh, it's the homeowners uh, who are getting the loan 
and they're getting it from a funding source. Uh, but the loan pays out directly to the contractor. And that's good uh, for, uh, you know, kind of everyone concerned. But an additional way to do that is to have uh, part of those proceeds also pay out to us as the distributor. And that's helpful for us for a few reasons and also for our customers, the installers. We like it because it is very consistent and predictable and we have a you know, really solid relationship developed with our uh, partners that we work with. And so uh, we know when, that, uh, when those funds are coming to us and we can track it. And uh, our customers really like that because they don't have to pay up front for the materials. Right, and so they, uh, our customers, have a chance to get materials on site and installed, and they don't have to worry about putting that money up up front to pay us. Instead, uh, they can just designate the correct amount that's going to come to us through uh, that lending funding provider. Oh, so that's it's awesome. a good system. I think it works out for everybody. Ramsey, that's awesome. That's awesome because. Uh, solar installers that are listening to us here at the Beyond Emissions podcast, Rams, Ramsey Zimmerman, our solar engine program manager here at Solagent, going over direct pay, how it works. It basically means the lender for your customer, um, you can allocate those funds directly to get paid to Solagent, meaning one of the biggest costs of overhead is the capital that a solar installer may need to have on hand to pay for inventory, uh, oftentimes purchased weeks before a job actually happens before they get paid, meaning there's thousands and thousands of dollars just being tied up in those purchases that you as a business can't use for investment, for your employees, for additional profitability and being more competitive. But now using direct pay, uh, you have the advantage of not having that taken out of your bank account, but still getting the materials that you need for your customer, not having it tied up in your inventory or warehouse space for two to three weeks before the job happens. Wow. What a big advantage, man. Right on. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, it makes a big difference. Yeah. And you can take advantage of this folks today. Go to Solagent.net, click on the link below. Ramsey is here to help you. Uh, Solar Engine, it's so much help for you and your customers to empower you to help us create this world that is beyond emissions. Well, I, I, I've learned about direct pay, but you know, hearing it from you today here on the show, Ramsey, wow, what an advantage. I'm just thinking of, of myself, if I'm a business owner, I've seen this all the time. I've been in this business since 2006 in the battery business. And, you know, a lot of people, they're like, well, I can't pay for it until this date, so I'll come pick it up three weeks later. But I'd like to secure it and have the inventory and know that it's not going to not be available, that it's still going to be there. So they play this balancing game and trying to have enough capital on hand to secure that inventory so that they have it available for the job. But that can sometimes exceed if they have net 30 terms, um, those net 30 terms, and therefore they've, they, it's a real balancing act. But with direct pay, it, it just loosens up so much capital for these installers, right? Talk a little bit more about this. I, I'm very excited. What, what an advantage working with Solagen and Solar Engine, man. Yeah. Um, so we have... Uh, multiple partners that we're working with right now. Uh, we're hoping to work with more of them in the future. Um, on the, the residential side, we have a really strong partnership with Good Leap, and uh, we're working closely with SunGage, and we also have a, a great relationship with Sunlight Financial, um, and we're expanding the number of uh, customers that are uh, taking advantage of that and, and using it, and we're working on uh, making it just easier for everyone to do that and lots of 
communication and uh yeah it's really fun it's exciting it's fun for me to do it how do you know um which which financial partner to recommend uh whether it's uh sunlight financial sun gauge good leap you name it um uh, because kind of like when i size battery systems it's really based on each customer's specific needs so they all have different needs um h- how do you determine uh, what to recommend for a customer or do they already kind of know what they want just carousing the menu? Uh, well, it's probably more of an art than a science. Um, in many ways, it's like which flavor of ice cream do you like the best? Um, there are all three of those that we named are, are great companies. Uh, the first thing I usually do is find out who the uh, customers are currently working with so, for example, Goodleap is probably the, the largest one in the marketplace, and lots and lots of people use Goodleap. Uh, so it's, it's very straightforward and easy for our customers who are already using Goodleap to go ahead and uh, designate us um, as a uh, split pay recipient. They like to call it split pay over Goodleap. Uh, so that's great, and, uh, you know, one of the, really exciting things uh, with Goodleap is just their connection and uh, partnership that we get to also uh, work with, with Give Power. Uh, Give Power is a nonprofit organization that uh, works on technologies for clean water in, uh, you know, places around the world that don't have too much access to it. So, Uh, I was hearing recently about some of their projects in Africa. Uh, They're using uh, photovoltaics to power uh, desalinization plants. So they're taking ocean water and they're turning it into clean water using the power of the sun for uh, people and villages in Africa. How cool is that? That is so cool. And, and how is that um, determined as far as uh, the, the, the funds that, that go from, uh, f- from this program? Uh, how is that determined? Um, is, is it a certain percentage or is it so much of every dollar? How, how does that work? Yeah, we just have a, uh, we have a percentage of uh, donations that we make based on the volume of direct pay that come through Goodleap. So our customers can know and understand that uh, when they select direct pay through uh, to Sologent through Goodleap, that, you know, there's a, there's a benefit to people uh, through the Give Power program. So I think that's, a, that's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. When you think about it, um, you know, we go and we turn on our water faucet in our homes here in America. I'm sure there's some places where it's not like this, but generally speaking here in America, you know, we may take for granted just turning on that clean water and having clean water come out of the faucet um, for us to drink and grab a glass of or cook with or bathe in. And we don't think much about it uh, every single day. It's just a given, right? Whereas around the world, I mean, you see men and women walking miles with jugs of water just to bring yeah, back and literally. boil. Yeah, like unreal. Like we do not understand what poverty really is when we just live our lives. And and by the way, I, I'm not saying we should feel guilty for being blessed as a nation and, and having the opportunity to get up and have clean water coming out. Uh, of our faucets we're we're not bad people because we've been blessed but i truly believe in my in my religion that we should be a blessing to others and and Mm -hmm. that's kind of what we get to do i mean it's a there's an opportunity here folks you're just doing regular business you're getting a loan go in there participate in the give power program by taking advantage of the direct pay opportunity which frees up capital for you and your business without having to hang on to all sorts of inventory because it's directly paid to us from the lender in addition a percentage of of the volume of of those loan dollars 
are going to get donated to less fortunate people around the world. Those folks who get up every day and they don't have clean water. It's amazing how many thousands of people we have delivered clean drinking water to. Something we take uh, for granted, I think, as Americans. It's just, you know, a for sure thing. We wake up, we've got clean water. I mean, even the poorest of the poor in this country have clean water. I mean, most of them, okay? Wow, Ramsey, you're mm-hmm. so right. You've, I mean, it's, it's as simple as taking advantage of something that's good for your business, direct pay uh, through Solar Engine here at Solagent. Something that's good for your business in and of itself. In addition, you know that part of those funds are going to be donated to offering clean water and opportunities. Desalinization plants using solar all sorts of great opportunities to help others and be a blessing to others. What a what a great thing. Not only are you doing something that's good for your business, you're doing something that's really good for people around the world who would not have this opportunity otherwise. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. We wake up every day loving what we do, don't we, Ramsey? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's great. It, it's um wonderful to be part of a larger solution. It's just, you know, really what it's all about. And, uh, you know, we have uh, some other great partners too. Uh, Sunlight Financial, uh, very enthusiastic, I find, about working with us and about bringing new partners onto their network. Uh, Great company. Uh, And so for those who uh, for those companies, those installers that are looking for an additional financing option that they can offer to their customers, um, Sunlight is a good option for them. And they, uh, they have uh, some terrific products as well, uh, a lot of variety in terms of the products that they offer. Uh, so that's a, another really great option. And I am Energy Storage Manager here. Again, Josh Brum, um, Beyond Emissions Podcast, Ramsey Zimmerman, Solar Engine Program Manager here with us at Solagent uh, on the Beyond Emissions Podcast. Thank you all for listening. Ramsey, thank you for being here. I am um, the Energy Storage Manager here. That's my official position. Batteries, batteries, and more batteries. That's what I do. I love <laughs> batteries. I'm a nerd, I know. Um, you I, seem pretty charged up. I got to say you're, you're holding your charge pretty good here, bro. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I am fully absorbing all of the knowledge here at the beyond emissions podcast of <laughs> charge profiles, bulk absorb and float little battery humor. I love it. I love it. Stay in charged up, baby. <laughs> Um, you know, and under NEM3 in California, energy storage is vital. It's vital. Um, just getting a solar system and whatever you overproduce during the day that you're not consuming when you're not at home. Normally, under the old regime, that would be sent back to the utility. You'd get whatever value that is that you would be charged at that time, even Stephen. Not anymore. Um, I mean, pennies on the dollar, like eight cents a kilowatt hour is what you get um, paid back for the excess energy that you send to the utility. So the key now under NEM3 in California is that you you have a battery system to store that excess PV array produced energy and discharge it when you are at home instead of being charged those higher rates at night, etc. You self-consume it yourself. So having energy storage is vital, especially under NEM3 in California. Ramsey, you talked about it earlier, natural disasters, fires, power outages, having the ability to deal with those intermittency issues with the grid and the utility when the grid goes down, having your fridge and freezer and lights still work, many advantages to having energy storage. Um, energy storage is it qualifies under the 30% federal tax credit. And therefore, we have to look at it also as a financial investment. Um, we looked at it the other day, kind of how does that pencil out? Well, generally speaking, if you're, if you're using the battery system to offset those higher rates, instead of selling it back for pennies on the dollar, you're self-consuming. You have that energy independence, number one. But number two, you are able to basically, in a sense, pay for that battery. 
Um, so it, it allows you to get the return on investment for your solar and also, in a sense, pays for the battery system um, over the life of the, the loan or the, the, the system, um, which, in a sense, allows you to have that battery backup um, for emergencies and knowing that that's basically paying for itself. Am, am, am I barking up the right tree from your perspective? Well, and in fact, uh, these loans uh, for solar uh, include battery systems. Basically, all of them uh, will fund a battery, and they'll, I think most of them will fund a, a battery system standalone, just like you said. Uh, you know, the, you really increase your capabilities by um, adding that battery and uh, making it so that you can... Uh, you know, run during a uh, grid outage. There just uh, are a lot of situations, uh, especially in California, but in other places too, uh, situations where the power might go out and it might go out for a while. And having that battery and having your own, you know, little uh, production power grid there feeding into your battery standalone, it's, it, it's a really a game changer. And uh, it's one of the, the best investments you can make uh, to keep your home energy efficient, but also safe and hospitable uh, during difficult times. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. You guys, gals listening right now, join us. Join us in this clean energy revolution. Join Solagent today. Click on the link below to find out more, Ramsey Zimmerman, Solar Engine Program Manager, uh, assisting you with all things financial and loan-wise here at Solagent. Um, thank you so much, uh, Ramsey, here on the Beyond Emissions podcast uh, by Solagent. We appreciate it so much. Now, Ramsey, I've got to ask you this, and forgive my ignorance, I just don't know. And so if I don't know, maybe our listeners don't know, so you can educate us. Um, do, do these loans have to be paired with a customer that is just, you know, grid tied? In other words, grid tie solar with battery backup um, or, or grid tie only, depending on the state that you're in and the net meter agreements that are in each state, it may differ. Um, or, or, or do off-grid customers have an opportunity to utilize financing as well where there is no grid and they're buying solar inverters and batteries to be off the grid? Is, is that a different type of loan that they need to get, uh, not in this bucket that we're talking about today? Or is that available? I Forgive me, I don't know. Yeah, uh, off-grid uh, loans are just fine. I think uh, most, if not all, of the lenders uh, provide off-grid uh, loans as well. Usually people are qualified based on things like their interest, uh, based on their credit score, their FICO scores, um, and uh, their income, uh, what their debt-to-income ratio is. So. Um, how much debt do they have in comparison to the income that they have and uh, their credit history. Uh, those kinds of factors are, are what plays into approvals, but uh, there are uh, the, the people that we work with, the, the companies that we work with are, are very good at uh, funding people and, and accepting people. They have very high acceptance rates. And there's lots of flexible options. So yeah, um, off the grid situations uh, are terrific. Yeah, and folks, that includes the batteries, solar, uh, PV array, racking, electrical balance of systems. I mentioned the inverter. That's important. You can't just plug a battery into a house or into the panels. You've got to have an inverter that takes that DC power from the battery and turns it into AC. Uh, voltage for consumption or vice versa it takes the DC power from the solar panels and converts that to usable energy uh, as well. Um, and so the inverters are part of that package as well. The electrical balance of systems, the racking, lots of advantages um, when financing solar and renewable energy systems because you put the package together. And by the way, I'm, I'm not a CPA, but I am aware just from being in the business for a while. Ramsey, correct me if I'm wrong, but 
um, the 30% federal tax credit is not a line item thing. It's not just, oh, PV, the solar panels and the battery, that's it. All right, no, no, no. It's the total bill of materials required for that job, which include the racking, electrical balance of systems, the storage, the inverter, the PV array, et cetera, correct? Yes, well, absolutely consult your uh, tax professional. We, we ha are not tax professionals. Uh, but that is my understanding as well. Yeah. And if you want to do uh, financing for your customers, direct pay is the best way to do it. Freeze up money and capital for you and your business. Um, in addition, gets us paid quicker, gets your system installed for your customer faster. And some of that money goes to help uh, provide clean drinking water under our Give Power program. Um, to poor, less fortunate folks um, around the world. Excited that you were on the show today, Ramsey Zimmerman uh, from our solar <laughs> engine department program manager. You're the man, dude. I love it. I love it. Um, parting, Thanks, man. Parting. This was fun. Thanks for. Uh... It was yeah, fun. Thanks for having me on today. Yeah, this was good stuff. We'll have to do it again real soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. And. You know, if our listeners, they want to learn more, they want to call and talk with you, have a meeting, you know, maybe discuss a project to determine which financial financial option is best, um, how can they reach you? What's the best way? To, actually, before we do that, um, parting words for our listeners, um, any pieces of advice, questions they might be, you know, needing, they should be asking, needing to ask. Uh, of their customers, exploratory questions. You know, you've been in this business a long time and we need to glean some of your knowledge from you. So any questions that might be good questions for folks to ask their customers? Uh, well, I would just say that, uh, you know, that the time to make investments like this is now. It's always now. Like no matter even what is happening, we always the answer is now, uh, because fundamentally, we're talking about solutions, and it is going to make the world a better place. It's going to improve the lives, uh, their own lives, their customers. It's going to be uh, part of what improves the the quality of their community and nation and and the world. And making an investment in in solar and batteries is just a, a statement of hope. You know, it is uh, putting your money where your heart is. It's it's just a, you know, uh, it's an insistence that we're going to keep on living and we're going to keep on succeeding and that things are going to continue to get better. And there's just so much in the world right now that seems tumultuous and chaotic and, you know, people, it seems like people are just pointing fingers at everybody else, but making a... Uh, positive investment in your home is just a, a statement of faith that things are going to get better. So, uh, you know, even if uh, things seem difficult, you know, the, the time is, is still now. Right, right. So the best questions or statements you can tell your customers, folks, is in part to them uh, a positive mindset about investing in their own energy independence and making this a better world and and putting their their money where their heart is and secondly sense of urgency imparting a sense of urgency is is ramsey's advice that mm -hmm. there is no time oh it'll get better next year or 10 years from now or five no no right now is the best time to make it happen so imparting a sense of urgency is one of the other questions or statements that you could, you know, utilize your, in your proposals. Um, uh, excellent advice, Ramsey. Ramsey Zimmerman, Solar Engine Program Manager here at Solagent. Thank you for being on the Beyond Emissions podcast. For our listeners, please let our listeners know how can they, by the way, click on the link below if you want to find out more. Be a dealer today at Solagent. Take advantage of these uh, awesome benefits. Ramsey, how can folks reach out to you directly to discuss their customers' projects and, and financing needs here at Solagent? 
Yeah, the easiest thing is just to send me an email, uh, ramsey.zimmerman at net. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ramsey Zimmerman, thanks for being on the show. Uh, hang on the line for engineers. Appreciate you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great one. Beyond Emissions Podcast, Ramsey Zimmerman, Solar Engine Program Manager here at Solagent, joining us today. Learn so much. Every week, experts from around the world. You want to learn more? Tune in right here. Uh, like this video. Subscribe. Comment down below. Um, also comment in our LinkedIn and Facebook, uh, Instagram pages as well where this is broadcasted. Go back to the Sologen YouTube channel to watch this and all of our other past episodes. This is episode 30, so we have 29 previous episodes with experts from all around the world and different uh, areas of our business providing us with extra knowledge that we can use to become more valuable for our customers. Um, like who was it? Uh, Thomas Edison, I believe, said. No, 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 no. Albert Einstein. I'm mixing it up. Albert Einstein once said, do not seek to be successful, but seek to be valuable. Because the more valuable you are, you're going to be more successful. Your customers, your employees are all going to be more successful. Don't seek to be successful. Seek to be valuable. And that's what we're trying to do every week here in our education efforts by having experts come on the Beyond Emissions podcast, teaching us about all these different aspects of our business so that we can learn more and become more valuable to ourselves, to our teammates, and to our customers uh, every single day. And the more valuable you become, the more successful you will become as well. So make that your focus. Josh Brum, Energy Storage Manager here at Sologent. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again, Ramsey Zimmerman, Solar Engine Program Manager, for joining us today. Stay tuned every single week here at the Sologen YouTube channel, Beyond Emissions Podcast, brought to you by Sologen, the largest pure play solar distributor in the Americas. We at Sologen are incredibly excited to announce our partnership with Give Power. Well, we wouldn't be here today talking to you about Give Power if it wasn't for our partners, Lone Bell. They've been with Give Power since the beginning. Their contribution has given water and light to countless people across the globe. We are truly inspired by Lone Bell's dedication to the cause. Something Lone Bell said really strikes a chord regarding Give Power that this is something that's more than money. It's what makes making money more worthwhile. In a lot of ways, that's synonymous with what we're doing here at Solagen. Here's how you can help we've decided to do is compound Lone Pal's contribution by donating to Give Power on every order paid via our direct pay program through Lone Pal. That's right. Every time your company uses your Lone Pal portal to pay Solgent for material, five people get clean drinking water for a full year. Together we're stronger. Together we can choose to be extraordinary by giving to people who live outside our reach. To us, this means a lot. Solgent's purpose meets Give Power's mission. Join the impact. Solagent, Solar Engine, SolarEngineSolutions.com. Go there to find out more. CALSA, C-A-L-S-S-A, stands for California Solar and Storage Association. Join over 700 companies, including Solagent, and become a CALSA member today. Go to www.calsa.org forward slash join and enter Solagent as the discount code and receive 10% off your first year. Membership starts as low as $500 per year and covers you and your entire company. You can pay in monthly installments or once per year. Why join CALSA? For over 40 years, CALSA has been fighting for your rights in California. If you're an installer or contractor in California, it's CALSA working behind the scenes on your behalf to protect the solar and energy storage business you and your companies rely on each day. Imagine the utilities are totally unchecked without CALSA fighting for you. 
CALSA fights for your rights and also provides resources like direct one-on-one -on -one support from their experts to help you with your questions, navigating everything from NEM3 to battery fire code compliance. CALSA will help you and your company to stay up to date on the latest policy changes that impact the California solar and storage market and your bottom line. Joining CALSA helps to fund their work to lobby for cutting solar and storage red tape, pass pro solar laws, and to defend your business from attacks. Become a CALSA member today at www.calsa.org forward slash join and enter the discount code SOLAGENT to receive 10% off your first year. CALSA is fighting for you and your business. Join over 700 companies like SOLAGENT and make a difference in the California solar and energy storage market today.